Okay, today I want to talk about banks, specifically yung top 3 banks natin here in the Philippines, which is BDO, Metrobank, and BPI. So, bakit uh, gusto ko itong pag-usapan ngayon? So, yung idea ko dito is to give you an idea on kung saan banks ka pinaka-advantage to open an account to. So, dito, let's just focus on discussing yung services nila, rather yung technical stuff like ano yun, saan yung pinaka-malaki interest rate for your savings account to make money kasi hindi mo naman mararamdaman yun especially if you're just putting small amount of money kung hindi yan bulks and bulks of millions hindi mo halos mararamdaman yan to a savings account sa pang reason why napili ko itong mga banks na to eh sila yung may pinakamadaming branches and opening an account with them is probably the most convenient to you Okay, first thing na gusto kong pag-usapan natin is yung over-the-counter transactions to these banks. So, ano-ano ba yung mga nagagawa mo over-the-counter? First, siguro is yung mag-deposit ng pera, then over-the-counter withdrawal, uh, or kaya naman mag cash ka ng cheque, or mag-deposit ka ng cheque, or either magbabayad ka ng bill mo, kung saan mang company yan. Usually, matagal talaga yung nakukonsume mong oras pag gagawin mo to. So, ako, as much as possible, I stay away from doing over-the-counter uh, transactions pero pag wala, ka, pag wala na akong choice, yun yung gagawin ko. So, uh, among these three banks, yung main pinakamabilis na service with regards to over-the-counter transactions is BDO kasi sila yung may pinakamadaming teller compared sa other banks. Yung ibang banks kasi, uh, isa, dalawa lang yung teller. So, ayun. So, next na napansin ko is Metro Bank has a faster na ano din na service with uh, with comes to tao dito over-the-counter transactions. Siguro kasi sila may pinaka-onting mga clients compared dun sa dalawang banks na yon. So, mas kaya nilang i-cater kahit onti lang yung teller nila. While for BPI, sila yung worst when it comes to over-the-counter transactions kasi usually it will take you mga 30 minutes or more when doing over-the-counter transactions nila dahil sa volume ng clients nila and onti lang yung tellers nila in their branches. Okay, now let's talk about banking hours. So, dito naman, I think, obviously, BDO will be the best when it comes to most flexible na oras. Kasi, for BPI and Metrobank, yung typical branches nila, ano lang eh, 9am to 4.30 lang yung uh, banking hours nila. While for BDO, nagbabari, meron nag-open na as early as 8 or 9, ganun. Then, nag end sila ng mga 5.30 or 6. Tapos, yung BDO pa, especially they have uh, branches inside the mall, yun, until 7, 7 to 7.30 ng gabi, open din. So, malaking advantage yun for ano eh, BDO kasi, yung mga nag-work, syempre kung banking, yung typical na 9 to 4, nasa work sila. Hindi nila magagawa yung kailangan nilang gawin uh, dun sa bank. So, yun, sobrang laking factor nun for BDO. And sila din lang yung banks na, I think, open during weekends yung mall branches nila. So, siguro isa to sa mga pinaka-pinag-init ng ulo ko when it comes to bank. So, ito yung mga transaction fees. So, kung iisipin mo, the reason why you're depositing money sa bank is para makapag-save ka and pag iisip mo na i-charge ka pa nila. So, parang, what's the point? Parang lalo pang nabawasan ng pera, di ba? So, dito, let's break it down sa over-the-counter transaction fees and yung isa naman is online transaction fees. So, for over-the-counter transaction fees, for let's start with BDO. So, sa BDO, pagka magde-deposit ka ng inter-regional, meaning, uh, kunwari ako, magde-deposit ako sa isang bank account na hindi inopen sa National Capital Region na branch, mag-charge ako ng 50 pesos for inter-regional transaction deposit charge. Tapos, sa pang-charge na makukuha mo over-the-counter is pag nag- uh, withdraw ka, tapos hindi mo bank, kahit nasa NCR pa yan, basta hindi mo siya branch na pinag na ng account mo, when it comes to BDO, i-charge ka nila ng 100 pesos. Pero one good thing about BDO is, as far uh, as, based on my experience, wala pa naman akong na-experience na charges when it comes to online transactions sa kanila. So lahat, pagka ginawa mo online, halos free naman. Kahit, yun na, yung deposit yung tatransferan ko ng money, is nasa ibang region. So, parang walang charge eh pagka online mo ginawa. Okay, next, let's talk about BPI. So, sa BPI, before, wala, wala, walang mga fees, fees, over-the-counter fees, may mga inter-regional charges, wala. But, siguro last year, 2018, nag-start na sila mag-implement nun. So, parang halos naging save na sila with BDO. So, I'll show you links ng mga pinagkawaan ko ng information ko. Uh, may links dun sa show notes. So, i-check nyo na rin just to verify yung mga pinagsasabi ko. 
So it's from uh, PinoyMoneyTalk.com. So nakalagay sabi na dito, effective January 2019, over the counter interregional cash deposit from one region to another may transaction fee na rin yung BPI na 50 pesos. Then over the counter cash withdrawal for accounts with ATM any amount 100 pesos and over the counter interregional cash withdrawal for accounts with passbook 100 pesos. So naging halos same na sila with sa BDO. Hindi ko alam bakit nila ginawa yung BDO kung kaya naman nila before service ang mga clients nila without these fees. But one thing na mag parang problema ngayon with with BPI accounts is pag mag online transaction ka na, they will charge you 10 pesos per online transaction pag ka mag-transfer ka ng money to other unenrolled accounts. Ang problema naman, if i-enroll mo yung account, sobrang hassle ng pag enroll ng account sa kanila. May kukunin kang form sa website nila, then ipapadala mo yun dun sa address na yun, so parang mail, or pwede yung ipasikaso mo dun sa branch kung saan ka nag-open na account. So, parang ang sabi nila doon, pwede kang walang charge pag magagawa ka ng online transaction sa kanila if gagamitin mo yung QR no unenrolled account. Pero for a limited period lang yun. Okay, now let's talk about Metrobank. So, for Metrobank, meron din sila ng mga charges na yun. Uh, for example, yung interregional cash deposit. So, pagka nag-deposit uh, ka na sa account na wala dun sa region mo, may charge din na 50. But ito, one thing na uh, much better for uh, Metro Bank uh, account holders is pagka mag-withdraw ka sa kanila kahit hindi, kahit hindi mo bank hindi branch hindi yun yung branch yung sa kanya nag-open na account basta within the same region ata wala silang uh, withdrawal charges ng over the counter pero yun now let's talk about yung ano naman nila yung online uh, transaction fees so yung tawag sa kanila is Metro Bank Direct table of uh, Metro Bank Direct yun yung tawag dun sa online transactions nila so nakalagay dito Transfer within Metro Manila, no charge. Transfer within Metro Manila branches to, counter, to countryside kasi meron din sila ano, sa ibang mga bansa. 25 pesos. Interregional transfer, 25 pesos. Ngayon naman, let's talk about yung machine automation. So, uh, ano, ano to? So, in best na over-the-counter mo gagawin yung transaction mo, meron naman sila yung mga machine sa branches nila that pwede mong gawin personally kung ano yung kailangan mong gawin sa over the counter except that gagawin mo yun through yung machine na yun. so for me the best dito is yung BPI kasi yung sa kanila meron silang 24-7 banking as compared dun sa BDO and Metro Bank yung machine kasi nila sa BPI ha iniiwan nila dun sa parang labas nung bank nila which is accessible for you 24-7 while for Metro Bank and BDO di mo siya ma-access eh nasa lobby yun ng bank so pag nagsara na yung banking hours ng bank Wala, hindi mo na din ma-access yung mga uh, automation, automated machine nila. Another thing na kailangan i-mention dito is yung queuing system ng mga banks. So, queuing system yung parang pag antay ng turn mo. So, for BDO, usually karamihan ng branches nila, pipila lang kayo. So, parang kung sino yung nasa ano, unahan, siya na yung next. Well, for BPI and Metro Bank, meron kayong number sa BPI, meron machine doon na ipapunch mo yung uh, turn mo. So, ayun. So, mas efficient siguro yung queuing system na BPI and Metro Bank plus pwede kang umupo since nga may number ka naman. Well, compared sa BDO, mag ka na nakatayo if walang upuan na para dun sa linya nyo. So, ito, minor na lang uh, yung max limit sa ATM withdrawal for each bank. So, for BDO, 50,000 a day yung max limit mo sa pag withdraw sa ATM. For Metro Bank, 30,000. For BPI, 20,000. So, since nasabi ko na lahat, halos ng concern ko, let me just put my resolution. So, this is just my opinion sa para maging convenient sa inyo yung banking. So, for me, I have accounts with BDO and BPI. So, bakit doon? Kasi, uh, they have the most ATM machines na nakakalat sa uh, bansa natin. So, if I need cash, makakapag-withdraw agad ako. For example, if nasa SM ako, Pag BPI lang yung account mo or Metro Bank, ang hirap kasi puro BDO yung machines doon. Well, if nasa Ayala Mall ka naman, uh, hirap naman din mag-withdraw doon kung BDO yung account mo kasi puro BPI yung nandun eh. So, ayun, uh, for me, yun yung tingin kong resol resolution ko. Plus, mag-add ka na lang ng Gcash na mobile app. So, what I do is, uh, for example, gusto kong transferan yung, uh, mag-transfer ng money doon sa 
video ko using BPI. What I'll do is, uh, yung Gcash ko, gagamitin ko yun to cash in yung money from my BPI account. Then, from doon, pwede na ako mag-send ng money dun sa video account ko. So, maganda doon is seamless yung transaction mo. Kasi hindi ka, for now, I think, for now, hindi pa, hindi ka pa, hindi pa may charge ng Gcash ng pag uh, transfer ng money from Gcash to dun sa mga selected banks nila. So, ayun. Uh, I hope, close ko na lang dun dito. Uh, Mauulan na. So, papansin mo, dumidilim na naman yung uh, yung video ko kasi ginagamit ko lang yung natural light. So, to close this video, uh, ayun. Um, I think, uh, choose your bank wisely. Um, may mga links naman below kung sa saan yung charges, mga ano, mga links doon. Mga additional links na magandang vlog with, with regards to banking. So, basahin mo na lang yun. So, ayun. Hopefully, um, magawa mo yung um, maayos na banking yung ease of uh, convenience mo when, when doing bank transactions. So, yun. Uh, hopefully, nandito lang dito. Bye. I'm out.